Hey everyone, Sean X Tech here, and today we're discussing the best display technologies you can set your eyes on. Displays are all around us, from our TVs, to our smartphones, to our tablets, and even in our refrigerators and our cars. But to understand the differences in these display technologies, we need to look deep within to the internal components. Typical displays are made of several different parts, but today we're just going to focus on the main component, which are the pixels, that produce the light and picture that you see on your display. Pixels are assembled using light-emitting materials in an RGB arrangement to give off red, green, and blue, which are the primary colors of light. And together, they give us white light, and every color in between. Screen technologies have been shifting in recent years, from the familiar plasma and LCD monikers, in favor of emerging technologies such as QLED or quantum dot LED, OLED or organic LED, and micro LED, which is a technology that's yet to be commercialized but we could see in the very near future. Today we're going to focus on new display technologies, and to do this we're going to focus on televisions as they're the largest canvas in order for us to view these displays. QLED display technology is among Samsung's flagship televisions in the current market. Their tagline of see nothing else imagines a television that is frameless and blends in with the environment. Here is a cartoon depiction of what we can imagine a QLED pixel would look like if we could see it with our naked eye. QLED TVs utilize an LED backlight similar to the recent LCD LED TVs that have been on the market but instead use inorganic quantum dot particles to make up the actual pixel, and these particles absorb the light from the backlight of the LEDs and emit light of their respective color within the pixel, red, green, or blue. The size and material of these quantum dots determine the color that is produced, and these particles are tunable to emit light across the full visible spectrum, which makes them potentially more versatile than other technologies but where they really excel is in the brightness at high saturation, where the colors really pop. And because of the inorganic nature of these quantum dot particles, they're less susceptible to degradation, and therefore burn-in is not an issue on these types of displays, which is better for gaming or any type of use where a static image would be displayed on the screen for long periods of time at high brightness levels. The presence of an LED backlight in QLED displays force an inherently lower contrast ratio, and causes pixels to be activated in groups rather than individually, which causes less pinpointed control over the images on the screen. There's also an issue on QLED displays with viewing angle and perceptively diminished picture quality at wider angles. Also, due to the additional components such as the LED backlight, these displays tend to be thicker compared to other technologies, but are still thinner than previous generation technologies. Overall, with a QLED display, you get some of the brightest colors at deep saturation because of its brighter emissive capability, which makes it one of the best displays for viewing under higher ambient light conditions or during daylight. OLED display technologies have been taking the market by storm and doing so in style, with a broad color gamut and a vibrant picture. If we look at a depiction of an OLED pixel, we see that it's very different from a QLED pixel. First of all, there's no LED backlight, and the pixel uses organic materials in order to produce each of the individual colors, which can emit under an applied voltage rather than having to absorb light and then re-emit it. Because of this, there's less components, and the materials allow for a very thin display that's even flexible. The structure of the organic materials that make up the pixel determine the color that they emit. And the color bands are less narrow than that of the quantum dots in the QLED pixels, so you get a fuller color volume, with a broad color gamut and a vibrant picture. One of the issues, however, is that these organic materials can degrade over time, especially at high brightness, and displaying the same image for a long amount of time can lead to burn-in where the pixels essentially die out in that area. Because of the way the display works, however, the pixels can be activated individually 
in an on-off arrangement, lighting up when they need to display an image on that part of the screen. This leads to the highest contrast ratio available, with vibrant colors against deep blacks, with nothing being overexposed or washed out. LG has taken the lead in producing OLED displays specifically for televisions, producing spectacular colors with their proprietary filtering technology. These are also the thinnest TVs out there, with a super slim profile, and all of the components kept in a lower containment module either on the TV or below the TV. OLED displays are the perfect type of display for viewing movies or anything in a darker environment, where they take full advantage of the highest contrast ratio, broad color gamut, and a vibrant picture. Our last display technology to discuss is MicroLED, which is expected to be the next major display technology to take on QLED and OLED while combining the best of both technologies. Samsung is set to bring this technology to market later this year with their massive display they call the Wall. MicroLED displays use the same principles as typical LEDs, but at only 1 one hundredth the size. And because the pixels are made up of LEDs, there's no additional LED backlight necessary. LEDs are made up of inorganic materials that emit light under an applied voltage, and the materials that make up the pixel determine the color that is produced. But because there's no backlight, the pixels activate the same way as OLED pixels do, so you get the deepest blacks with eye-popping colors. The materials used in microLED displays are said to provide inherent color qualities with distinct color purity but a wider color gamut than conventional LEDs that provide vibrant yet natural colors. And because it uses inorganic materials, it's less susceptible to degradation, the same as QLED displays. So there's no issue with burn-in on a microLED display. But one of the most unique things about microLED is that the displays can be modular allowing you to create any geometrical shape only limited by the size of the pixel. And even more so, if we imagine combining this microLED technology with QLED, a display like this could give us the same bright colors at high saturation levels, but also with sharp contrast and deep blacks, producing a killer picture. Samsung's wall display will certainly be for the higher-end commercial market, but this type of technology could reach smaller displays with other devices within the next few years, and has the potential to give us resolutions up to 10K. Tell that to your 4K TV at home.